once again it's Bigly here and this time the video is going to be a little different I'm going to be answering a lot of questions uh, the segment is going to be workout question and answers I've been getting a lot of common questions of late in my inbox so I just thought let me structure it and answer it for you so that it will benefit you all before getting into this segment I would uh, first want to say you should enjoy your workout there is no set on the stone rules for a workout you go there to enjoy if you enjoy your workout you will know exactly what you need and what you're gonna do and you can go by your instincts and for people who start and people who have clarifications this segment is gonna help you first question about the duration of the workout how long should you work out you know like uh, you see all the fancy videos of the pros and other guys doing workouts for you know like uh, two hours one and a half hours and stuff you should understand these guys are specifically trained and they take specific nutrition and other special supplements and at times drugs to enhance their workouts so for a normal person let's see it like this there is a, a hormone called as cortisol which is stress related hormone which is bad for you which starts getting secreted somewhere between 45 minutes to one hour of strenuous activity so let's say you're working out very hard maybe between 45 minutes and one hour you're gonna start secreting it and this hormone is gonna be counterproductive on your workout so if you're working out strenuously the ideal timing would be to finish your workout within an hour and maybe like maximum one hour 15 minutes because that's when you know like 45 minutes to one hour is the window when the hormone starts secreting you shouldn't let it peak and this is going to be very counterproductive and it's going to eat up your muscle so how long you're going to work out 45 minutes to one hour is the ideal maximum one hour 15 minutes next question which one should i do first weight training or cardio it all depends on your goals okay guys you know like uh, if you use cardio as your warm-up which I always advise all my clients to do five to ten minutes on a treadmill or a cross trainer or a stationary bike that's gonna be good your body is gonna heat up and it's gonna support your workout but if your goal is let's say fat loss and to retain your muscles let's explain like this if you do your cardio first you lose a lot of energy in it and you won't have energy to lift so logically do your weight training first and then you do your cardio because uh, your glycogen stores are going to be depleted by your weight training and your body is also going to be in an ideal state to burn more fats another question how often should you work out don't look at the pro workouts and get carried away guys I work out once in a week for each muscle group once in 10 days it works for the pros let me explain you in a simple way if you are a small guy you have less muscle and you need less time to recover if you are a big guy you need more time when you look at a pro bodybuilder his biceps is gonna be inching somewhere around 23 24 inches maybe that's the size of your thighs this guy needs a lot of time to recover when such a big guy needs only seven to eight days to recover his muscles then how often should you work out you know like an ideal way would be you know like an average bodybuilder or an average trainer training each muscle group once in every three or four days is gonna be very productive and you go by the feel guys if you feel that your muscle has not recovered then space it a little more don't copy anyone's workout design a workout that's meant for you that's gonna work for you there are a lot more questions about you know workout and you know like the most uh, frequent question is about uh, developing lagging body parts that we will see in our next segment for this segment bigly here over and out